Hey guys, it's Pokemon Go Madness out there, but there are some other stories out there you might have missed. Yeah, yeah, including some Pokemon Go stories because let's be honest, it pretty much owns our lives at this point. Here's our top five. Number five, Nintendo announced a new NES console and surprised everyone and their mother. The mini NES Classic Edition console will ship November 11th for $60 and comes with 30 games. Classics such as The Legend of Zelda and Metroid to name a few. Number four, after several teases, Blizzard finally revealed Overwatch's latest hero. Meet Anna Amari, a founding member of Overwatch and Farah's mother. She's a highly skilled support sniper who uses a biotic rifle to both heal teammates and deal ongoing damage to enemies from long distances. Nice. Number three, Warner Brothers was hit by the FTC claiming that the studio paid online influencers, including PewDiePie, from hundreds to tens of thousands of dollars to post positive videos on YouTube and social media for Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Warner Brothers would tell influencers how to promote the game, and now they are barred from ever doing such a thing without disclosing it. Number two, Pokemon Go has taken over our lives and now folks who wish to cheat in attempts to catch them all are being banned. If the game catches you in the act of GPS spoofing, the game will turn your world into a cold and lonely place for several hours. Ooh, good for them though, that should teach them. And number one, Pokemon Go again, this time with a tease from the developer. Niantic's CEO John Hankey teased that leaderboards and training are part of the game's core design and will arrive at a later time. Meanwhile, Pokestops and gyms may also become customizable in the near future. I can't wait! And that's the biggest gaming news of this week. Don't forget to check out all of our Daily Fix episodes for even more news and have yourselves a rad weekend. I'll see you on Monday.